thinks it's a problem of the throat chakra. It's not. It's not. Why? Because your chakras develop in a staircase from the bottom up. The three bottom chakras are fundamental, and they are three chakras that gurus tend to not focus on because gurus are all spending their time up here and transcending and enlightenment and all this. Way up here, way up here, and nobody's paying attention to the lower chakras. This is why you're seeing a lot of increase, for instance, in gurus being exposed because of immoral acts or abuse on their followers, and all of this is occurring because they don't have those lower chakras uh, worked on. This is really, really important for us now. So even though this looks like this is a throat chakra issue, it's not. This is a solar plexus issue, okay? Now, why? Why is this a solar plexus issue? This is where your personal power is. This is where your sense of identity identity that can get a little bit in, embroidered in the ego. So in your third chakra is where that ego starts to get developed. And there's nothing wrong with the ego. The ego is beautiful. It has its function. It starts to get developed when that third chakra comes online, okay? Early adolescence. This is where the teenagers, a little early adolescents, start to develop their own personality, and then they start to, to dress in, a, you know, in their own way, and they start to rebel against their parents. That's the third chakra coming online, exerting personal power. And so... This is where the personal power comes from. This is where your identity, the ego identity, is also formed. But aside from the ego identity, the chi of personal power is here. This is tremendously important for sensitives and empaths. A, a poll again of sensitives and empaths in the room. Okay, so quite a few of you. This is the key chakra for sensitives and empaths because this is the, this, when this chakra is strong, you don't ever worry about imposing boundaries. I don't like to use that word. I don't even like to use that word because when you are a powerful empath, you don't need to impose boundaries at all. Your energy just projects outward from you so strongly that there's no boundary there. There's just nothing penetrates it. 